Hey guys, it's the Chad, and today is part four of my trailer series. Now in my earlier videos, we went through and talked about the warning signs to look for when you go out and buy a used trailer, my top 10 tips to prevent that trailer from being stolen, and how to mark, stamp, or ID that trailer just in case it's ever taken. Now that series was pretty popular, and I got quite a few comments, questions, and some great tips. Now one of the more important questions that I got was, what should you do if your trailer's stolen? Now that's a great question, and I'll tell you what I would do, but you gotta stick around to find out. Hopefully you guys never have to apply any of the tips that you're gonna learn in today's video, but I always say it's better to be prepared just in case it ever happens. If you've ever had a trailer stolen before, it sucks. But if that trailer or any of the equipment that's in or on that trailer gets taken, and it's part of your livelihood, it can be financially devastating and potentially ruin your business. Even if that trailer equipment's insured, it can take weeks, if not a month, to get that insurance claim processed, and then you gotta find replacement equipment as well. What are you supposed to tell your customers when you can't complete their job? So in today's video, I wanna go through and give you several tips that I think you should be following just in case your trailer's ever stolen. Step number one is don't panic and call the police. Yeah, right. I know you're gonna be super frustrated if this ever happens, but you do need to act pretty quickly. Hopefully you watched some of my previous videos and you took the tips of photographing, stamping, marking, IDing, adding some type of distinguishing mark to your trailer, just in case this would ever happen. These things can make a big difference and definitely increase the chances that you'll see your trailer again. I highly encourage you guys to call the police and fill out a theft report. It doesn't matter if your trailer is insured or how little it may be worth. If we don't at least try to catch and prosecute these thieves, the cycle is just going to continue and some poor sap is going to go out and buy your stolen trailer. When you guys go to call the police to fill out that theft report, try to have a little bit of information ready such as a VIN, serial, tag numbers, any type of homemade marks or distinguishing features of that trailer. It's definitely going to help them with their investigation. Now, if you have any evidence such as GPS trackers or surveillance footage, definitely include that too. That way they have some type of lead to go on. Now, in some of my previous videos, there were comments that folks didn't have much faith in the police that they would do anything or ever locate their trailer. But don't let that discourage you from filling out that theft report. One of the tips that I really liked were folks were going through and wiring their pigtail wrong. That way, if anybody ever stole it and they plugged it in, it would pop the fuse to the stop turn and tail lights. Now that's great because if it was after hours and the police saw that trailer with no lights, they could stop it and hopefully find out that it was a stolen trailer. Good tip. Step number two would be some type of GPS or tracking device. If you guys have this type of technology, I highly encourage you that you activate it right away. If it was me, I'd quickly get down to the local police department with my tracking app and show them exactly where my trailer's at now. That way they can send an officer out to recover it. I highly discourage you guys from going out and trying to recover it or find it by yourself just for safety concerns. Within hours, that thief could have sold your trailer to somebody else and you don't want to go on somebody else's property to try to pick it up and they think you're stealing their trailer. It could be really bad. Step number three, insurance. If you did insure your trailer and it's taken, just reach out to your local provider and let them know it was stolen and what's the next steps you need to take. Generally, that's gonna be where you provide them with a copy of the police report or a case number. The quicker you get them that information, the quicker they can file that claim. I won't lie, I've never insured any trailer I've had in the past. I just didn't know much about it. Well, after reading a lot of comments in my previous videos, a lot of folks recommend that you insure your trailers if you can afford it. Well, I took your advice, so I reached out to my provider and said, what's my little five by 10 trailer cost annually? I was kind of surprised. They just take that trailer and piggyback it onto the primary vehicle that tows it, and it was only 70 bucks a year. I think that's very affordable just in case it's ever taken. Now, if you can spare a few bucks a year, I highly encourage you to at least get a quote and see what yours might be. Step four, start your own investigation. If you're not one that has a lot of faith that the police are gonna locate your trailer, do it yourself. Play a little Matlock. First thing I would do is shoot over to Craigslist Marketplace and type in trailers for sale. You never know, it may pop up. Other things I've seen people do in my area is they actually post pictures of their stolen trailers or whatever other item it may be. That way thousands of people locally can see it. That's kind of a warning sign too to folks that may be looking to buy a used trailer that they don't buy your stolen one. 
So let's say you guys do locate your trailer out on the old interwebs. I'd highly discourage you guys from meeting with or trying to recover that trailer all by yourself. It's just not safe. I've read in a lot of my comments of what people would do if they caught that potential thief. I can tell you, it's not good, and two, it's, it's kind of scary. I definitely don't encourage you typing out what you're going to do on the old internet, just in case it ever happens. That's called a premeditation. Anywho, all I can say is don't take the law into your own hands. Call the police, let them deal with it. There is no property that's worth spending more time in prison than the thief would get if they got caught stealing that trailer. Step number five is recovery. Let's say two weeks, two months, or even two years down the road, the police find or recover your trailer. More than likely, they're gonna give you a phone call and say, hey, we found it, why don't you come and pick it up? Now, if you've already been paid out on that insurance claim, just let them know that that's been taken care of already. They can contact your insurance company and they'll know what steps to take next. Now, let's say you didn't have insurance or that claim hasn't been processed yet. You're gonna to need to go down and pick that trailer up if it's still functional. If not, it's probably gonna to go to impound and you're gonna start compiling storage fees down there, which really sucks. It's just more bills you're gonna to have to pay later. And that leads us to step number six, starting the process all over again. Let's say you did get your trailer back or unfortunately you had to go out and get a different one. Now you have to start the securement process one more time. If you haven't, make sure you check out my video on my top 10 tips to keep your trailer from being stolen. In that video, you'll find all different types of securement devices, and make sure you read the comments. There's some pretty ingenious ways to keep your trailer on your property. Now, if you guys know of any other steps to take after a trailer's been stolen, type that down in the little clickety-clack. And while you're there, smash that like button and subscribe. Make sure you come back for my next trailer video. Next time we'll be talking about GPS and what type of tracker I chose to keep my trailer safe. I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.